stopped uh, streaming. Uh, no, no, that's not what I want. Do stream chat. And do an app ping at the irrelevant people since some of them uh, have bad luck. Other games streaming. And finally inform you lot that I am streaming. Uh, me being me, I actually kind of want to sit and listen to music while I'm doing this, but then I'd have to work out some way of keeping the music out of the stream, which means you either couldn't hear the game, or I'd be keeping the music out of the stream, or you could hear the music and I'd get sued. What's that? Ah, oh, crap, does this set to auto unlist when I'm finished? I don't want to unlist this when I'm finished. Unless I screw up horribly. In which case, I might want to unlist when I'm finished. No, so, yeah, I, I... Apologies for the not actually doing anything yet. So, I have questions for people. But first off... I've got plenty of maps to pick from. We have some of the outline maps, which are... No enemies are scripted sequence from November 28th, 2012, yeah. A modified version of Ep Outland 10 BSB, lower the f build and escape, different each time you play, because sometimes it's zombies and sometimes... Ooh! Oh, damn it! He had to put that up, didn't he? No. Oh, well. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, one of these is me. Thank you, you're me. Yes, me, hi, me, woo, me. And there we go, now you can hear me. Shut up. And the chat is still loading. Oof, it's -a me. Oh, Sam! Hi, Sam! Hi! Oh, God. Uh, small zombie amino, random zombie. Spawning at Reno, the hub map. And then there's the resource gathering prototype. I want to do the, the resource gathering prototype, but since I'm bored, I'm going to go through these other ones first. No, I, I, oh my god. I... Sounds like zombies. Sounds like a loss of zombies. Oh shit! Oh shit! It is a lot of zombies! It is a lot of zombies! I can hear them! So my sounds might be a little high. But I have to fight my way through that house. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? I take your profile to make sure you weren't actually Jeff the Killer here to make us go to sleep. Um. 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 You are to listen to the sound of my voice. You are to trust the sound of my voice. You are to ignore everything other than the sound of my voice. Oh! Shit. Double shit! different every time I played it, but I didn't think it would be this different!
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where that lot came from then. Wait, hold on, what did that say? A small area designed to test enemy type and placement randomization. Yeah, okay. Context here. This is This is Half-Life Aftermath. Uh Aftermath was the original episode of Episode one that um that never actually never actually hit the child and said we got F one. I'm just burning through the early levels before we do the actual levels. Uh, here's the larger level. Sam, you can guess Ant's Discord, not that he's ever going to hand it out to you. I'm feeling a little lazy. See, now this is where you get to see how I am at lateral problems when it comes to killing things. <laughs> the enemies on this level are placed in random locations. Uh, not that it matters, I'm going to kill them all anyway. By the means afforded to me by this lovely Spaz 12. Over on, uh, it's not over and under, is it? It's a. It's a breach loader. Is it breach loading? Whatever it is, it's a shot. Is it? About guns before. No, it's kind of a bit of a bit of a hard shot for shot rolls. And that's that level over. Because he's lonely. This is why I'm doing this stream. Because I'm lonely. I'm all alone! Uh, I did I um... A complete test of a dog companion inside the episode 2 mines continues to Dog's Gate... Dog Gate Canyon BSP. Um... This is a thing that appears to be a cut together of that mine sequence being um... This is a sort of cut together map made from this Vortal Coil and the map immediately following it. See, this is straight up this Vortal Coil with random other bits added in, like this unopenable door. The these boxes, random thing, like shotgun chest, which is normally accessible. Somebody just pinged me on Steam. Uh, this area down here, which is normally where you see Alan dead. Spoiler. Um all of this, all of this, all of this was not here previously. The point of this section is, uh, get dog out of there, go save Alex, because if you look over there, there is Alex. Um, he doesn't have too much though, he does in the occasional message, it's funny. Dude, if you're lonely, you can tell me and I will start talking. About something, whatever. I will go sit in voice chat and talk to you if you like. I will type things. You just have to ask. I, I've been spending, spending the last several years trying not to be really, really obtrusive because I normally spam people, like my relatives, who don't get annoyed with me, but I don't believe that they don't get annoyed with me. Ah, ah, this way. Um. He's the guy who gave me the nickname Till, which I still finds hilarious because I think 
Because I think of it as a coin reference, even though he has no idea at all what coin is. And he probably never will, because I don't hand it out to people. Much. I have a pistol? I know I'm just hanging out here. Um... Okay, uh, right. So... Other than the, um... The, uh... I was actually idly considering making a Discord server for for me. Since I, you know, do this semi-regularly now. Uh, but, uh, I don't really get enough people for it to be worthwhile. Uh, I'd still be working out the kinks of it. Like, I have a few ideas for ensuring that people don't become too... Yeah, you see, this is from an earlier section of the game. This is back in the mines. I should probably be careful of this because I'm pretty certain there's an extra head grab wandering. Actually, when I first played this, I didn't realize I was still playing on normal. I was confused as to why all the zombies took two more hits to kill than usual. Because, you know, 4649, dang, close to damn about up and vanished. LT up and vanished? No, I'm still here. I'm here. I am trying to respond to you, uh, not just... Talking? I am talking. Okay. OBS can hear me, so if you guys can't hear me, that's your own goddamn problem. Ah, nice! This leads back to here. These zombies have poor communication. I could go around shotgunning them from now on, but I'm weird about them, so crowbar it is until here. One of you is going to make it, and one of you is going to try and... Damn it, he had to get me, didn't he? He had to. Nah, I'm not saving and reloading for that. Just a hand grab. Just a hand grab. Just a hand grab. See, pull back, pull back. I am here. Oh, it up and vanished. Oh, L, uh, it, it, look, it's called, it, the keys look similar, okay? Now I've got to see the dog. Because I'm feeling weird, I am now going to be as inefficient as possible. And, um. Uh, Same you can't shotgun through a force field. Life is boring. Sometimes again, being on Steam. Fortunately, Steam is disabled on this game! <laughs> no plastic. You look similar. Boosh. Um... I have absolutely no idea what's going on now, but okay. It appears that introducing the two of you into a call simultaneously, I say, into chat simultaneously, may have caused some kind of attempted banting ritual. Should I be at all scared? Because it now seems like you're trying to out meme each other, and that's really. Weird. No, 
you don't. Like I said, have I ever told you how much I like this shotgun? I mean, it's a realistic shotgun. What's that like? Okay, it's a relatively realistic shotgun, other than the weird ass double shot. Fun fact! A little ability of theirs will damage them as well, which means it's possible for them to kill each other. No, that's part of its jaw. Thing. Baxter. There we go. And his friend. Red. There's the blood pressure I'd expect from him. Oh, I expected that to be nice. What? Oh. oh, it's the legs go all wiggly as it dies. Oh, that's. Oh, you can survive a rock landing on you, but a freeman landing on a rock landing on you isn't survivable. Oh, what a shame. Trollalalal, the cake was real all along. Here comes that boy, oh shite. This game's a piece of cake. This section is. I'm playing the first bit. First bit, but I'm playing a. a, a like an earlier set. An, an ultimate part of the game. This bit's easy. It's okay, dog, I'm coming to get you. Who's a good doggy who could survive having an energy sphere bounce off their face? You are, yes, you are! Hi, dog. Dog's gonna run over here. Get a tiny little spark. Look sad. And then follow me around. Like a lost puppy. I don't think he's a puppy anymore. Stop. I don't mean to. Now here's where I. No, without dying. But no, this is what I mean by it's going to be a talky game because this is something I can do while I uh, tend to do it. As the elevator, you can't drop it, but it's a bit suicide, but then. My point being, back a bit, there was another one of those energy generators, wasn't there? And I've never gone back to the world. There was also a, a door that dog could open, but I don't think that dog could open. Yeah, see? I don't think that dog so there's no point. And here, I never investigated what was beyond this point. The answer is, it's only for the one. What was the point of this? Like, devs, what, why did you put this here? Tyler McVicker, I'm looking at you here. Pop, 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 pop. Inconceivable. Oh boy, we're going there, are we? What is with you guys? Are, are you, like, of the same species or something? Is this your mating ritual? Or, I, I just, like, because we already know that Andrew Wine and regurgitate quotes and puns and stuff in order to continue breathing and then expunges his internal gases and fits of laughter but like seriously are, are you doing this? is this some kind of courtship thing? Sh should I get out like should I get you guys like a feather bow or something uh, and go, like why? 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 no? no? Oh. How do you fit through there? Oh crap, did I save this far back? Oh. 
by that I mean this far forwards. Um, let's see if I can find a point that I can load from where dog isn't stuck in the fence. That should be. Except dog is stuck in the fence. Dog, 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 Who's a good dog? Hey. Yes, you are. Come on, this one. You are. You are. You are died. It. Yes, I have. I have died. It. I have died it twice. What? What? Once just for the dyingness of it. Once to see if I could die. Which. Oh, wait, hey. These are the ant lion sensors on F2. I have never seen them used in any form in the game or map. Same, oh my god, same goes for this. What is this, Portal? No, Auntie, I'm not playing Portal until you've played it. Maybe I play Portal from Lynn, but Lynn ain't here. I am. Uh, despite dog being dog, dog cannot kill animals. This dog is. And no, I'm not coming up with cute nicknames for the ant. Because uh, Anty has expressed his his um, displeasure at me giving cute names to the ant lines. Dog can, but it's a turret. Now dog has a turret. Good boy! Good boy! That of course, it works a bit better if you, you forego trying to take them on your own and instead take them. Well, it works even better if you run into the one that you come from, so they can be fun. Because they're supposed to be the one that you buy a thumb hook. And they didn't like to come from. But over here, they don't like more. But if the ass is going Just because you're without your O face doesn't mean I'm with Dog! Chill! I'm, I meant like now. Oh 
on my own. Now, at this point in the game is where I managed to break it last time because there were still ant lions around and the dog and the ant lions didn't get on and I got stuck. This is not portal. This is after. The original M1. And off. What? You. Bye. A dog can, um. Dark, you're not doing the thing. Dark, have you crashed again? Okay, so Dark has crashed. Yeah, except have you actually seen this anywhere in HL2? It, it's not HL2 in its own accord. It is a... It is a... Cut beta content from Half Life 2. But this is all the stuff we have on Half Life's Three. Dog has crashed, so we're gonna go to the next one. Let's see, Dog Gate Hub Map. These three are just houses with people who will kill you. That's the test bed for it. Let's go to the actual version. Thank you, Mr. Th thank you, Sammy, for saying such ridiculous things in chat. I argue that should be energetic, not energy. Okay, so in this mode, you want to kill enemies slowly. Note that I'm getting biological massa. That all of it? That's most of it. Reason nor with wisdom. 
Uh, actually, kind of. It, it's altered because they didn't have the original code. Oh, they had the original code, but they didn't have any maps that it was meant to be used with. So they modified existing maps so they could use the code. Which, of course, they would. This, um, this component of the game can take up to several hours. This is all cut beta content. Bad ad, man. You could have died. And I told you to. I mean, I could play Human Arrow if you wanted, but... I figured this would be more interesting. I'm gonna go build a custom titles and uh, see you later. Yeah, sure. Sure. By all means. I don't exactly need people to watch. I was I'm still like idly asking questions whether people actually want me to go and put the effort in setting up custom Discord. I think the anything else would probably be no because I haven't got enough people. That's like why bother. Maybe across communities so you can really understand what the other people are going on about half the time. Ah, oh, now this thing. These things. Particularly. But out just it. I've immediately, I've exhausted their immediate number, I'm running out of bullets, so I better go get more bullets. Go. Up. Yeah. This gate I can't open yet. Uh, over here there's some shotgun ammo and some suit batteries, but I'm not going to waste my time to It's also a lone man here. And over here we see another prime example of... Does that just spit them out over time? Oh my god it does! And I've been handy to know! And when I first played this... I guess I just think it's the end then. and 15. Okay, so I've got to get more mechanical and more energy. Not much more energy, but quite a bit more mechanical. Mechanicals from Manhacks. You hurt my voice, but what can I do?
You could have me there and you'd invite Isaac me in to talk about weird shit. I, if you want, I can invite you in and we can talk about weird shit. I am perfectly happy to break out some kind of calling mechanism and talk to you about weird shit. I did actually, I, I set up like a prototype this morning which did include a contact me and a role that prevented you from being able to contact me so I wouldn't have to be bugged by you. Not you specifically, but like anybody. These must be like the tall things of them that they periodically produce. Oh, okay, I didn't I did not know they did that. I like my voice, but I feel it's, it's really weird when I actually hear it for what it is. It, it, it just doesn't fit my mind. Ah, oh, hello. Here it goes. Is that it? Oh, did... Well, they periodically spawn them, but only for a limited amount of time. Uh, 47? Okay, so just like another. Uh, of course, the more the merrier. I want to amass a lot of electric ones because the electric ones respawn, but they're also the ones that are the hardest to get. Pretty soon. But the more electronic ones I have when I go into that area, the better off I'll be later on. Uh, mechanical ones, I think, or go. Not many things use them. Oh. And I seriously, so if you do want to break out like an, an IM, not, not an IM, but the kind of doing a thing and, and talk to me in voice, by all means do that, but you have to actually tell me that that's what you want to do. There we go. That's enough mechanical to open the gate. Now, I will need more. But since I can't remember exactly how much more, I guess my best chance is to open the gate and go from here. Which I can do. You know, they seem to stop spawning them. Which makes me irritated. I shall come back and deal with them. There we go. Dog here is happy. Like I wanted to get myself more cards. More cards. I'm not going to waste my time with the suit charger because, in all honesty, the suit chargers just aren't worth it in this map. You'll lose them and then you realize you need to be there. Oh, there's a crossbow. I missed the crossbow the first time. But no, they were upgrades. Okay, so. End of order. Gate opener. Gate opener is nice, but it's expensive for mechanical elements and they're hard to get. Mounted machine gun is nice, but things are rarely in range. Resource magnet, basically means he can pick them up, but rarely you use this. Shield wall sap, ooh, 200, can't afford that. Energy harvester. That requires 50 electronic. And 25 biological. Thank <laughs> you. 
My health converter is nice. If I make movement, I never got the point of that. Throw attack is 50 40 20. Yeah, no. So we'll go with the electric one first, but it's going to be a major resource system. Yes, you'd like to if that's okay. Uh, sure. Uh, who are we supporting with this? Are we supporting Skype? By what means are you in contact? Yes, that was an invisible ant lion. I, I, I don't know why they're doing it. And that's the other thing with this. It teaches you not to get out. You want to go with the Three gate components to open that gate. Now, the first time I did it, I went a bit hog wild. What about the gate components? Just went all out on kill everything and get all the upgrades. elements as well. Uh, I think here is White Forest and that's the end of it. Oh, this is that big ending map with all the striders. Uh, Ante, you contact me. You, you, you have all my contact things. You contact me now. And I'll go from Unless you're already sitting in a call of some waiting. Damn, I'm Oh, that's gonna be there making me noise. Okay, I think I've got enough energy. I, I don't know if I've got enough energy. a friend request on Discord. Alright. Alright. You have been. You have been validated. And. So, uh, okay. This was horrible. 
It's actually a shortened version of a longer track that they use in the background of all their videos. I know. Volunteers for the sudden pause. I am attempting to poke the settings so I can hear anti better. Interesting. Two different media. I do not going to be Ah, yes, uh, I am just, uh, fascinated by the two noises speaking at the same time, um... So, you have become... Yeah, and that's 51! Okay, back to play. So! I said this was going to be a talkie stream because I presumed that you guys would be poking me in chat about things to talk about. But um, I, since you're poking me in reality, is there anything you want to talk about? And please be reasonable, I'm trying to have my dinner here. Ooh, rocket launcher. No, but we want energy harvester first. Oh, you have, you're having dinner. Is this past, I guess? You're probably going to make some kind of weird joke about how that energy harvester module looks. Um, no, it is a, it is a box of cardboard in construction containing chicken and potato and other miscellaneous objects. Is that meant to say that it is some sort of a pre 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 prepared board? Curry or something. It's not a curry. That's what it sounded like. It's not a curry. Oh. It, it is a uh, gufk. My father told me to put I don't know what gufk is, but I'm, I'm assuming that gufk is very fun, especially since it has no vowels. Uh, I believe the first one. A place in in America. Uh, since we're going with euphemisms here, let's call it uh, Chicago. Uh, the second one is a kind of cooking method, so let's call it baked, since that's a euphemism that's completely inaccurate. And the last one is it's some kind of meat from an animal with wings. So again, we're going with euphemisms here. We're calling it cow. I'm sure you can put the rest of it together, but I really don't want to sponsor them in any way or be involved with them, so... Okay, fair enough. I'm hashtag deliberately not mentioning people. Hashtag actually good food. Oh, I made some today. I made mashed potatoes. They stored and, in the fridge. I have also and, made and, and dog is doing the thing, and now my game is lagging. <laughs> oh, it, it crashed. It crashed. Error! Oh no free edicts! <laughs> no free edicts. The edicts of our fate are not free. You need to pay in blood. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. We're not restarting, we're just picking up from um, my last save. And if that didn't work, we'll move on to a different game. I have a copy of the trap Mindlock idling on my desk. The only question is, do we play it? That's it, dog. Feed on the... I think should have gotten the resource magnet, because that's going to mean that my hip as well, rather than just landing on the ground. <laughs> no, that, doesn't like that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Ah, no, 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 we managed to not crash this time! And once I go into this mix, we just got 52 energy from this, this one, this one extraction. And this thing will still produce energy like normal. 
Uh, eventually that will recharge and it will... You can harvest... A, no, I like 71 energy. No, more. Um, you, you've got a lot of energy now. I've actually got more energy than I have biological, and considering that antlions spawn absolutely everywhere, that's kind of rare. Yeah. Keep going, because there's an ammo chest this way, and I need ammo. Alright. So. The other thing I made, by the way, was kind of a, a sausage. Uh, sweet and sour sauce stew. Kind of a thing. You made stew out of sausages. I I put in these, you know, small sausages, wieners, and then I put in uh, sweet and sour uh, sauce. And then I put in a little bit of uh, food cream, you know. Food uh, cream. You know, cream that has been flavored with this cheese flavor. Then I put in some. Some pet. That's okay. Oh, you should. Those are really fast. You just pour them on the pan and you get lovely, tasty food. Is this that thing called sarcasm again? I can't tell. No, it's not. Uh, food cream is actually really, really good. Uh, uh, Shield Wall Zapper I mean, is of... 200 energy. Which will be something I want at some point, but I think the next thing I should go for is the rocket launcher. And I can almost afford that. I mean, they're, they're not... They're kind of uh, fatty and they're not, not super good for you, but... They're not good they... for you, but they taste good for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, they make the flavor of the food really excellently and they uh, add nice... Ah, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Talk about math again. <laughs> uh, we can talk about math. I, I recently had some kind of minor. Um, you explained the logarithm thing to me, which I am still slightly. Oh shit, combine. Uh, I still don't quite get logarithm. And my maths exams are over now, so I'm probably not going to need to get logarithm when I go to university. There's the person who has an I heart math kid. Well, it all depends on stuff like what you will study in university, honestly. If you're not uh, in the demonstration, math. they had a... Uh, in the demonstration for the maths department, they had a box with a platonic solid. Of which I guessed which one was correct and missing. Not that that was the point of the challenge. The point of the challenge was to associate them based on little numbered cards. And I just managed to go, Hey, you've got one missing. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me give you a pin for that. So they did. Have I already drained this one? That's pretty good. You know, you know, based on how you've described your school, for a second I thought that sentence was going to end. We were supposed to associate the platonic solids with the platonic elements, and then proceed to describe alchemy. You could be platonic. <laughs> I wish. That, that would have been interesting. The tetrahedron is fire because it's pointy and fire hurts! When you squeeze on it. I 
these are really easy to calculate the volume too. You can just take the yeah, even in n dimensions you can just take the number of axes and then take to the power of the dimension. It's just too simple. Wait, seriously? The number of axes to the power of the dimension is the no, no, that's not how it works. I know what you mean, but I'm pretty sure you didn't. Oh, the head crab that spawns off the zombie doesn't count as an a bonus mm. quantity of biological material. God damn it. To rephrase, you to take the length of an edge of a cube and take it to the dimension to reduce the number of axes. But, yeah. So, yes. I think this is fun, but it's less fun with lag. I, I imagine so. Which proves that despite the fact that I got a computer fairly recently and it's a, it's a hardcore gaming rig, even the flags go blue and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I have enough for the rocket launcher! Rocket launcher isn't necessarily useful, but it looks awesome as crap. We have a rocket launcher now! You are all subordinate to me! Um, okay, next step is progression wise. Uh, I'd want to go with the. I want to go with the shield zapper, but I'd be better off going with the gate opener. That requires 100 metal. It's mechanical, but I'm gonna call it metal. But, I don't have a hundred metal, but I can make a hundred metal, because this thing converts electricity and biology into, into metal. I had 17 when I started-ish, and now I have like 30. Problem is, I need a hundred, but biological material isn't hard to come by, I need the electricity, so even though I need another... Another 200 out just to like properly progress the gate opener, which I will need if I want to progress to the end of the game. I, I can afford to burn some of it here. To get the gate opener. Uh, 25. What do you mean I have 24 biological material and I need 25? Antlions! Currently, the stream thinks you have a 90 by 2 biological material, 58 mechanical, and something like 114 energy. You have one out of three gates. Out of gate. Okay. It, 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 it is fairly out of late date. I wonder what you're actually saying. I'm still talking about the axes in the stream. Oh, go. <laughs> ah, there's the one. It is quite hefty. Uh, anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, you. What? You, you're going to uni for what? Uh, I'm going to. Well, not uni. Uh, I keep using the terms uni and college interchangeably, and I really shouldn't. I'm going to college, I'm Thanks. going there for maths, uh, physics, to bulk out my standard. Okay. Well, and, then uh, you're comp probably side. going to need logarithms, but you'll probably be using, like, two features of the logarithms, so it'll probably be okay. Oh, right, I need a hundred, not... And you'll you'll almost always be using the natural logarithm as well as physics. Chemists like to convert everything into lo log in base ten for some indescribable reason. Because they're idiots, I think. It's not that. I know some very good chemists, and besides, that approach is bad, but it explodes. Well, okay, it's not because they're... They are, of course. It's just because it's convenient for them, because stuff like pH and everything like that is the best. Right. 10. 
basically. Well, no, not not in this case, not really. And I now have a hundred. If we're not going to be re really picky about accuracy, we are talking. PH is like the uh, ne negative logarithm of the concentration of uh, uh, oxonium ions. Uh, oh, you mean like the standard of what one PH even is? Oh god, they never even. However, I mean. If they just told us that it went up in not, a not the, high tens. It's not the concentration, it's the activity, but because the uh, ac activity coefficient of. Uh, of of oxonium is usually very low. It doesn't usually come into effect. I mean, activity calculation. I'm, I'm going to title this stream. You have titled it random stream. Yes, I know, but I will provide an updated title. Okay. But you know, because it. And this is a, a bit b uh, base 10, so a lot. lot it's log. a bit base 10. Uh, well, the logarithm is base 10. And I say the pH is a negative logarithm of the concentration of uh, uh, oxonium ion. Usually you write in uh, H2, H, but technically it's H3O plus uh, concentration. And, and that, it, it, because it is the uh, logger base 10, 10 logarithm, if the concentration is uh, 10, 10 to the minus 7, the logarithm itself is going to give you minus 7, and with a minus in front you get that the pH is 7. And if, if uh, it feels too complicated, certainly. Yeah, I mean, if you use natural log, you would get other problems with this. You would need some sort of compensating constant there, and everything would uh, be harder to work with. But it's. But surely there'd be an easier way. Of it. Good. Yeah. But that that's ha halfway because they've chosen to do it like this, and I I understand their reasoning, I mean, it's it's nice when your concentrations are uh, read nicely and everything is easy to convert, but it's it's not uh, mathematically pleasing in every single case. The thing I've heard about the world is it tends not to be mathematically pleasing. I mean, Squares are nice, so are rectangles. Pleasing. Squares are nice, yeah. so are rectangles, but you can overdo it. <laughs> That's from advice for a human, by the way. It's 97 pieces of advice for a human. It's really good. Well, it's for, more specifically, it's the chapter advice for a human from the book The Humans. Which uh, points out how exactly weird humanity is when you start looking at it from an outside perspective. Particularly if the first evidence of human material is a copy of Playboy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we had to language somehow, didn't we? And there goes the lag, and here comes the crash. Here comes the crash. Okay. Since it's crashed twice now, I think we're willing to declare this point moot. I'm now going to move on to the trap. I would move on to the trap 2, because the trap 2 is the second one, and it's actually in the HL2 engine. But uh, I am too lazy to do that, and it would be out of context, not that there's really any context. So we're playing the trap uh, That's That sounds fair. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, yes, Lynn is gonna throttle me later. Lynn? 
Is she ever watches where this? Is Lynn, anyway? Where where is Lynn anyway? She hasn't been talking. She's not in this call, but she'll throttle me if she ever watches this stream. I mean, she'll throttle me if there ever is a Comic Con. So that's, that's there is, nice. but it's gonna be in the UK, and it's just gonna be between me and Zeno. So eh. Yes. We shall make sure to do a cute montage of us running over and cuddling, but later. Um. I or really... you should do a stream, like I suggested! I probably will, but it's actually going to cost me money to do that. Oh, come on, tell me this isn't crashed on me. Nope, no, it hasn't crashed on me. Okay. So, the trap two is Half-Life meets Portal meets Horror. It is awesome. And I am really sad the person who made it abandoned it halfway through development, didn't bother fleshing out all the grammar, didn't bother fleshing out all the story, uh, left the final boss fight without some context, uh, there's an abrupt spike in difficulty, uh, only about a year after its release did it get fan-made English subtitles, and it's entirely in Russian, because the English voice actor who did the trailer did not end up doing the entire game, even though he wanted to. And advertised it with a, I might do some voice acting in this. This is why I might be popular. Not why I might be popular. This is why I might be popular. This is why I... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is why I might be so in heavily supportive of it, but I did some voice acting for it. The answer is, he voice acted the entire game, or he would have if it weren't for the fact that he only ever did the trailer. <laughs> While he could have done the entire game, they abandoned it, and he never got to do it. And I'm sure he's sad about it, and I'd love to bug him about it, but he'd probably be grumpy if I did. Instead, you get to hear his voice on this game instead. Also, pay attention to the start. Opposing force! <laughs> yes, I'm wondering when the stream is going to catch up to... Because it it has currently had you crash, I think. <laughs> oh crap! I didn't re I didn't reconnect it, did I? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! One moment, let me point it at. No, that's Norton. I don't want to point it Norton. Why are there two Norton executor oh, bits? Uh, I'm not looking at live anymore. Where You're not looking at anything anymore! There we go! There! That's now actually on the stream. You will now be able to hear the wonderful voice of Philip Marlowe of RunThingShootLive.com. Awesome website. Oh my... Even though he wanted to. This game is also really, really snarky at you at times. It's oh, very portal without it actually being portal. It is starting! Oh, the graphics are very... It's Half-Life 1. Remember? Yes, uh, but I am rem re reminded of all those pixelated horror games for some reason. Now they are slightly better than those graphics, but these are... It feels very nice and retro. You have passed this task very well. I envy your abilities. At this rate, we'll pass the test in two minutes. Welcome to the yellow section.
I envy your abilities. Ha 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 Who am I? Anyway, yes, where were we? Hello? LT! Oh, crap! Right. I, I, I fell on the acid and died, thanks. Sorry. Not your fault, but I'm blaming you anyway. The game lo looks quite interesting. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's in the Hall of Fame for, um... It, it is in the RTSL Hall of Fame, but it is basically Half-Life meets Portal. Except it came out before Portal did. Actually, no, no, it didn't. It came out, I think, two years after Portal, so never mind. Even my facts are <laughs> wrong. Facts, fear, I have failed you. I think I, I see you falling in acid now. Oh, this is confusing. It makes you feel any better. That's really, really weak acid. Is it citric acid? Maybe. I mean, there's a corpse floating in it where I am now. Several corpses. But they're not... They're not, like, decayed. They're just dead. Oh, I think I blew someone's body out. Okay. But there, now I can walk in the acid and I will not die. That's better. Yeah. Because I have a suit now, so I have a flashlight. Uh, the one thing I do like about this game is how the um, suit HUD changes colour depending on what part of the level you're in. So if you're in the first section, your, your suit's HUD is yellow, because you're in yellow section. But we've just left the yellow section. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Ooh! The, the, the acid is... Oh, oh my god, you just shot someone dead. Uh, the, the acid is... He was already dead. I'm sure. Yes, I, I imagine so. He just... Splattered all over uh, the floor. Uh, after all, uh, my safety is not guaranteed. If I die, no one will find me except the next uh, participant. I was about to comment that there are not nice water graphics on and animations on the acid. Well, it is just straight up reusing the Half-Life stuff. Well, I mean, that's fair. Putting, but, but putting cute still, tinting on it. It, it. it still looks pretty. By the way, earlier when I said uh, cute, I actually meant duty. Because it also correct the game of thing. I also like how the teleporter animation changes every level. Oh, neat. They, they put a lot of effort into this neat. game. Oh crap, it's, it's 9pm. No shit, really? And now we have green acid, which is indicated with a radioactivity counter. The green stuff will green. kill you. I, I, I wonder what... Oh. Uh, what kind of acids these are? I, I think they'd never uh, end up... The green stuff, I think, just hurts you. The yellow stuff without the suit instantly kills you. Yeah, you want, I can I find out about the green stuff. Uh, the green stuff... The green stuff will kill you pretty quickly. And give you radioactivity damage, but that's because it's Half-Life. I mean, it could just be some sort sort of uh, assault of uh, some actinide element or some other heavy element. I have an urge to quote the intro to Sapphire and Steel now, so if you let me do this in my perfect uh, and as close to the correct voice as I can do. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. 
Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, radium, sapphire, silver, and steel. <laughs> yes! Uh, I, I, I missed jet and diamond, I think, but those aren't elements either. Yeah, and diamond is, is very light, all things considered, as well. Ah, crap, that's the wrong button. Oh, right, because this has got different saving controls. Doom. Like, uh... I mean, diamond is just... Uh, carbon. Uh, yeah. A Steel carbon isn't carbon element either. Steel is an alloy of carbon and iron. For goodness sakes. Although, yeah. admittedly, later they mention there are 127 of us. And a few minutes later, Steel corrects the person who said that with 115. We can never trust the trans -Duranics. Why not? They're unstable. <laughs> Again, they set up a lot of, like, world-building with this stuff. Aerobics. Aerobatics. trans <laughs> Um, I mean... Uh... Yeah. That might just be a joke about 118, which was discovered, and that turned out to be uh, a fluke. And then it was only discovered later. For real, I mean. Um, considering this show takes place back when they put a massive in-color introduction to the thing, where they make a whole point of, this is in-color. The, um... But, yeah. They, they make a whole... Probably that's just a joke, because... I, I'm pretty haven't... sure it's just a joke, but they... But later on, we meet characters like Lead and Silver. Uh, we meet Silver for two episodes, we meet Lead for just the one. Which is a shame, because they, 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 did, this whole, they did this whole thing of... Uh, the, oh, oh, it's Lead. They also did a few other things, like, um, Steel can lower his body temperature to below... Not to below, but, like, I think the exact value they cited, and you will be able to correct me if this is wrong, because you'll recognize it, is uh, able to cool his body down to, uh, minus 2.317 degrees Celsius. Minus 2... Point... Like I said, I probably got that value wrong. Because what happens when you translate that to Kelvin? It's absolute zero. Do repeat that again. I, I, I the value I gave, I, the value I gave is probably wrong. But the whole stick is. Yes, but I, 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 I'm bad at remembering numbers. When I think the value I gave ten. was minus two point three one seven. Minus two point three. I'm probably wrong. You see. Ooh, nice yes, if that's like in Celsius, that's not even in the negative Fahrenheit. <laughs> I you, you I, I think Again. you are thinking about minus two hundred and seventy three point fifteen. That's probably it. Zero. That is which probably is it. Absolute zero. We've uh, we've got obviously you can't get to absolute zero, but we've gotten to a, I think a few nano degrees above the absolute zero or something with uh, certain laser cooling techniques. I think, but we did manage to get a whole one by one meter by one meter by one meter cube uh, of copper to be something very ridiculously close to absolute zero i mean it and it was the largest coldest area in the whole universe for the duration of that experiment because nowhere else there the, no everywhere else everything would be heated up more by the cosmic background radiation uh, than that cube so that something must be cooling it, uh, refrigerating it to achieve this te low temperature. 
but um, yeah, no, so they went. Uh, they went with steel can drop himself to really low degrees, but um, well, he goes solid. He can't move afterwards. They, they go set. They go set him by the fire and leave him to, to warm up for a bit. And, and for a bit, I mean like several hours. Well, that and he can't talk for the duration that. because for the reasons. It's like yeah, it's very 80s in terms of like the science here, in that there isn't any. It's like they have patches of frozen light and things that are from outside time that are breaking stuff. Although the whole concept of yeah, saying a certain sa saying a certain nursery Jeez. rhyme. One sec. So I really like this song. Uh. Saying a certain nursery rhyme in a certain room does certain things. So it's ring a ring of roses in the in the attic of the house, which is kind of weird. But it dates back to the time of the plague. The house is full of old clocks and antiques. Oh. Uh, the, I, if I remember correctly, the, um, uh, the House of Old Pots and Antiques, uh, the point being, it, it's, this stuff is old, and having this much old stuff in a house, and reciting old nursery rhymes with a lot of clocks, uh, makes it easier for time to be weird or something. But they go and they, it's a little... Uh, yeah, it's interesting to watch though, because they take it all very seriously. It's like they, they go and they nail up the room that had the thing happen in it. It's like first the wall, well first the patch of the wall, then the whole wall, and then the entire room. Oh boy! Uh, and then it gets into your head and it makes you say other nursery rhymes, and that gives it more power. Whereupon it will then trap you in a section of time where something terrible happened and try to get you to become part of the reality. So it sent one of them back to, uh, it sent Sapphire back to a section of England during the Civil War. Where somebody was murdered by roundhead soldiers. Round with the intent of getting her to play the part of the murdered victim. It almost worked, and then they tried I mean, it. And then they tried well, it again with the sun a few hours later. Work. That didn't work either. Yeah. If we pretend that that logic works, it's a brilliant plan. Uh, eventually, they realized, no, hold on, you build the house from the bottom down, not from well, bottom up, not from the top down. Obviously, it didn't start in the attic. It started in the basement and has been sending things up to the attic to trick us. The asset has changed colour now, by the way. Uh, I... Have I seen you coloured you... acid on the stream? I may have, and I have missed it. Um, it's a very interesting thing, but the whole... The whole shtick of Sapphire and Steel is... They are two people who show up and fix problems. The super... The supernatural and the inexplicable and everything in between. But it's very and it's I very interesting to watch. Golden silver acid. Uh mono uh, uh not mo uh chloro auric acid? No, I don't think it's that. Chlora auric acid. I I don't think that's it either. I just meant it as silver and holy shit! What a creepy animation. Uh, it has <laughs> what animation? Oh, that one. Golden. The teleportation animation where you get crushed between two blue brains. Um. The animation changes depending on where in the game you are. In the green section it was that weird rotating bit, in the yellow one it was everything went fuzzy. 
Uh, you do not want to see the one for the white section, I think, later on. I just hope we don't make it that far. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying looking at this. Oh, there's also this area. What sort of abilities did helium have, or, or did they even have helium? Uh, they might have had a helium, but again, they seem to be veering away from the heavy elements and more towards the medium atomic weights. I say the medium atomic weights. I think things that are stable at room temperature. You say that as, as if helium, the lightest of all the elements, was heavy. I yeah. Mean, there's hydrogen, but helium, because it doesn't react with you. Uh, it like I said, they never light. specified it. They... They have act they actively mention in the intro several different ones. They mention Jet and a few other ones offhandedly. Uh, by the sounds of it, some of them are partnered up and or maybe couples. Which is not weird at all. Makes sense. But that they have, probably they, would they not. <laughs> they have steel. So I don't think it's so much elements as just things that are solid. But Fair enough. I mean, helium would. Helium could. You could have interesting powers because helium, as you know, has some of the coolest uh, properties as a liquid, as an element. As in, it doesn't solidify unless you put it in under immense pressures and stuff like that. Even at absolute zero, helium does not solidify. It just stops moving. Isn't that oh my like god, you can hear it through the wall! Uh, carry on. We are in some sort of an orange box chamber. Um, the person uh, mentioned that this is the most ridiculous place in the whole context. Complex. It was created by a new relative of their director, who paid an absurd amount of money to have it included. <laughs> this room is nothing but orange plastic boxes, and a radio that plays music from other worlds, because he figured you might get bored. You could still hear the music through the wall. That's awesome. I have no idea what the point of it is, but it's funny. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. But what exactly is the joke here? Fair enough. I think that's the joke. But well, it is certainly very weird, but so is this whole mod. This is true, but, you know, not everything has to be equally weird. It's okay, it only gets weirder from here. Oh no, no, I've seen weirder mods. What was I go going to say? Yeah. I mean, you know about helium, you know the super fluid stuff and all, all that cool stuff. But no, uh, in the vague event that you... Uh, but no, uh, if you really do want to know more about it, because it's been several years since I've watched it, and each episode is like two to three hours long, uh, oh you'd, be, you'd be better off watching it yourself to see what it's all about, because I can't remember. Towards the end, they had, like, an interesting concept, but the end is basically just a, well, we didn't want to do this anymore, so, um, here's an excuse. But otherwise, the entire episode is just, it's a good episode, but the ending is just kind of, what? <laughs> and I can still hear the goddamn music through the wall! Um... <laughs> uh. uh. So are these like movies or what? Because like no, no, that long. No, 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 no. They were individual TV episodes, but they were 15 to 20 minutes that you then had to watch in an order. So it's more, but people have compiled like full versions of each story because there are six assignments that are each one story. So they're basically six seasons. Yeah, that, that's how I like to think of it. It's six seasons comprised of God knows how many episodes each. Makes, makes sense. Um, 
makes a lot of ammo for no. good soldiers. That's not weird at all. Very little ammo for poor soldiers, so that they can shoot themselves in the head for being so bad. You say poor soldiers, and I immediately think skinned. Both. They can afford more weapons. They also suck. They have afforded enough. Oh, he's crying. I feel so sorry for him. I'm still commenting on the voice in the game, which is part of the issue here. Yeah, Each good. humanoid you're slaying so mercilessly is bred for $100,000. I'm already crying. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he, he is a little... He's a little eccentric. Did you just order a candy bar from the fucking cell, the weird item creator machine? No, no, that was a clip of nine millimeter ammo. <laughs> well, it looked like candy. Yes, yes, it was totally candy. Mmm, cordite. 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 You don't know what cordite is? Well, I don't know everything. I just know a lot of useless trivial facts. Cordite is the stuff they used to put in World War One era rifle bullets as gunpowder. It's the, it, it's basically the gunpowder that they were using. Ah. It's the stuff that Sorry, makes them go. I, I... It's the stuff that makes them go bang, or gives them the smell afterwards, or something like that. I don't quite remember. I just know that after like gunshots, the smell is of cordite. Makes sense. Uh, this is just I'm not big. Uh, I don't have a big enthusiasm about guns and the world wars, especially. So I. I am only relatively enthusiastic about guns, but probably more than it's helping. And kaboom. Crash. Bandicoot. My financial advised me and handed an important military board. Where skin mate. Where's Kint? In this really obnoxious London accent, yes. You alright, mate? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's an attempt at a Geordie accent. I think. Possibly. I, I, I can't tell English accents apart. I can't even tell Finnish accents apart. Everybody can take tell my finish. You are only allowed to commit suicide as a last resort. You are too valuable a specimen. Because, because see, my Finnish accent is kind of the uh, equivalent that one of I need the to focus. English Cockney accent, I think. If that's what a Cockney accent so sounds far, like, I'm really not sure. Uh, as in, it implies that you are, uh, we are all idiots. Like, literally, the place where I live is pretty much called the asshole of Finland. Seriously? Okay. It, it, is the, it is so much so called the asshole of Finland that our city had a, had a, a, a tourist campaign, uh, which, which... This room was a headache. Gigantic billboards around the country, and 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 this was also sent to foreign countries, which which did not say "kiss my ass." They said "kiss my turku." Yes, they literally said that. Um. What well, now comes to mind uh, is uh, <clears throat> uh, This is Sir Henry Bessemer's giant metal ass. Crossing the English Channel. 
Now, there are two ways to finish this level. One of them should give you an achievement, but doesn't. It's this way. Ah. Which instantly drop ops you at the beginning of the next level. But I can't be asked to do that, haha, ha, so I'm going to go do this properly. Also, my UI is now in red because I'm in the red section. Pump. I'm honestly impressed they managed to put this much, like, stuff into the Half Life 1 engine. But somehow they have, so. Oh, looks nice. It, it does look quite nice. It, it's like all the puzzle elements is what surprised me. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Up I go. Ah, uh, alien grunts. You can't fill them, but you can trick them. Fill them? Kill them. You can't kill them, but you can trick them. That is not an insight for you to go to rule 34, Anthony. Oh, do you want to talk about rule 34? No. Oh, good. Because I wasn't going to. No, you're just going to imply that you are, and hereby make all my relatives really worried because now they know I know about rule 34. Yes, but do they know about rule 34? Of my estimates, at least three of them. Only one of which is liable to watch this stream. We're safe. Yes. Hello, one person in El watch his his stream about Rule 34. This isn't about Rule 34. We're just all finally mentioning it while I, I do this. LT is not evil. He's a normal human. Well, I'm robot. insulted. I'm definitely above average. Yeah, yes, his statistics in every sense are beyond the national average. Actually, no, they're not. Um, this is a literal quote from my physics teacher after a test. So the, the people who scored the highest in the class did worse than their counterparts on the national average. The students who scored in the mid-range on the test did worse than their counterparts on the national average. In fact, the only people who did worse... No, the only people who did better than their counterparts on the national average were the people who got the lowest marks in the class. <laughs> I hate this guy. Like, quite thoroughly. I'm glad to see him go. He, <laughs> he couldn't teach he physics worth a rat's ass. I was going to say he did, didn't sound very encouraging. He wasn't. Yes, I I halfway think I could have done a better job even without like any qualifications in the area at the moment. And so, towards the end, rather than doing the required practicals, he just told us to go and look them up on YouTube. And would then photocopy the look fuck them up! And then he told us. Okay. No, 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 no. This gets better. So I ask him for a list of. Not very good on the first place, so it would be very hard not to get better. And yet he gets worse. Ah. May I? So. Yes. So I ask him for a list of them so I can look them up on YouTube. And his response is to get the TA to photocopy the contents page of the book. Like that's gonna help me! <laughs> and then he just sort of got confused when I said, can you actually help me? I weep. I weep for you. This is why I'm glad I'm leaving on Monday. I am doing a victory I've escaped I am doing a victory I've escaped stream on Monday where I'll be playing Riot Attack because it seemed like the most appropriate game I could play. Yes. Thank God you're escaping from these foolish idiots who do not instill in you 
the love and respect of physics in all its forms. Oh my goodness, golly me. Go look up YouTube videos. I mean, are you genuinely this, like, sad about it? Or are you, you just having me on here? It's hard no. to tell. That, that's, that's, this, this is a travesty in all its forms. Education is fucking important. And idiots who can't be asked to do anything about it should be thrown out of the fucking school system. For fuck's sake. Go look it up on YouTube yourself. I mean, YouTube is a great resource. There are great people out there doing good work in all sorts of areas. But you're, that's not what you're supposed to do as a teacher. That's not what you get paid for. You are not even doing the bare minimum of being a teacher. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't even get a lousy copy of our home game. game! Yes, he doesn't get to come back tomorrow. He doesn't get a life supply of rice a the San Francisco treats. He's a complete loser. I want to email him that to him on my last uh, day because it's my last day. They can't do anything to me. <laughs> yes, he lost some jeopardy. <coughs> I bet he doesn't know about famous accordion players either, so he'd lost th lose that particular game of jeopardy that was in the actual thing. I may have just coughed into the keyboard. Okay. This song is called oh. Angry. I listen to it when I am angry. I actually kind of like it. That seems appropriate. <laughs> but like, seriously, like, how, how, how could you ever learn anything if you're le left to your own devices to do... to s study... or nothing? Uh, we are left with our own devices to study, and then we're chastised when we don't study. I mean, fair enough, you should be studying, but like, everybody knows that nobody studies all the time. There's, there's almost uh, two dozen subjects that you could be studying and you're not going to be interested in every single one enough to study uh, at our place you have to learn every single one or you will fail your exams yes for some uh, weird I ass had... inexplicable reason I had fun uh, it's because they could be on any exam I tried to cheat my English GCSEs by finding poems that covered every subject between them at least two of each, so no matter what poems came up, I could provide an analogue to them, even if it was one of the ones that I'd already studied. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. If uh, I got told off for this, but I wasn't just told off for this, I was told that what I was doing wasn't possible, and to stop it. Yeah, of course. Just... Study one of billion useless poems. I mean, fifteen. But you have to memorize like a notes table that's like a sheet long per poem. Yeah, yeah they don't ha make you do that here for your uh, GSE, GSE, G GCSEs. Yeah. But basically, just equivalent. We we have abitura. It's basically the same. And you get you don't have to know or have to have read any particular piece of literature. If they ask about something, they give you an excerpt that you're supposed oh, no, they, to they, analyze. They do sometimes give you an excerpt that you're supposed to analyze, but you're meant to compare it to something else. And that's something yeah, else no. you have to have covered previously. I mean, obviously, if you can do that, it's going to help you, but you don't have to. Like, what? In my exam, the options were 
uh, analyze this poem, which was, uh, uh, which technically I suppose it's, you can compare it to another text. It, it was a, a poem that it's easy if you taught the them queen. how to analyze things rather than teaching you how. To... Yeah. Yes, basically that's what we've been doing all, all this time. We one was analyze uh, uh, the role of money and wealth in this. Or was it was it themes in general in this comic strip about Scrooge McDuck? Oh my God, that's awesome! Yeah. Yes. Uh, although some of those, like one quote unquote required thing, you were supposed to talk about the colors in the comic, and everybody was just going up in question marks, like. They were just colors. They weren't used creatively. It was just colored with normal colors. Yeah, that normal. kind of that does kind of sound like how it is reading some of my stuff. It's like, how, how, what, what, what do you even mean by this? This doesn't mean anything. But the thing, but the thing is, if n almost nobody talked about the colors, uh, then the uh, grading board changes its opinion about the answers and grades accordingly. No, that is perfectly reasonable. They're, they're grading on a curve. If you if no one gets the right answer, they refactorize that so nobody gets punished for it. That's a that's a standard thing. Everywhere except in the UK. Yeah, I figured. That's why I mentioned. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm aware what else did it we comes have? up a lot in uh, not always stories. There was a famous painting, and then there was a. Oh, you get to analyze a about... famous painting. No, you were supposed to compare it to a photograph that sort of was somehow similar in composition. Which uh, the first one was a famous Finnish painting about uh, the people like uh, uh, doing. Uh... Oh my God, that worked! I should be dead. Ah well. What, what's Koskivilu in English? It, it, it's uh, the type of farming where you first burn forest to get a fertile field, and then you work that land and farm there. I think... That kind of farming. I, I and the, don't... There's this picture of a girl raking ah, a don't... burning field, and then, then you were supposed to compare it, this to a photograph of this African child working in... in some sort of a waste bin, I don't know. Uh, okay, after the uh, next level, oh. I am going to stop the stream, because I it is late, and I have food next to me, and food wants to be eaten. Yeah. But not, not like when I, I finish this, on my test. the next one. Yeah. And it wasn't on my test, but uh, uh, in the previous exam, they literally had uh, the question, uh, here are some memes. Describe oh God, memes yes, as a that cultural one. phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, you're expected to have general knowledge about stuff. Uh, so it's like kind of opinion, funny when they ask questions like this. Political stuff. Because, like, one of the... Write an essay about what this statistic says about the world and it was like hello there are men in these professions Wait, one moment. And women in these professions and there have been no male female popes how shocking the whole stick on this level is that they give you a secret weapon early on that has exactly enough shots to finish the entire level. Exactly. Except I never use it because I am weirdly anal about keeping ammo around, so I save the extra bullets, and then at the end of the level I don't get to keep them. Spoilers! There was no spoon, said Neo, and head banged the wall. And down the center tube. And there goes my inventory. What else? 
Not yourself. Come no, on, these are these are the difference between our GCSEs and yours. I yours mean, actually good. Uh, and our tests are are usually quite long. I mean, usually they all take six hours unless you have some sort of a learning disability, in which case you get, I think, Plus one hour and percent. forty minutes extra. So you're there for almost eight hours if you take. Uh, if it's the same as the English disability thing, it's plus twenty five percent. Yeah, so it's not Although the they tend to they tend to lie to you with the plus twenty five percent factor. And I, I it's gonna sound weird, but like on your on the version that they give you before the exam, like your exam schedule, they will round down. But they will round up. And on the actual version they will round down. It's like they will tell you five out uh, Two hours, 21 minutes on the actual exam, but on the thing it said one hour, 22 oh, or something. Oh, wow, that's a really short time, actually. Yeah, our, our exams tend to be, like, three hours at the most with disability factors and stuff. Yeah. In total, they tend we to be... We have six hours. Uh, Ten six questions hours. each, but we have them divided into multiple test papers. So there's an English paper one and an English paper two and an English paper three. Ah, crap. They change some things uh, for math, at least. But here the shtick is that you get to have like you get to bring in snacks and food and drink oh. and so on. Uh, you you are here too, but only if you have a learning disability. What? Like some people literally bring in quilts so they can wrap themselves into those. I do it's that weird. too. Uh, on ours, you are. They read you this whole exam speech at the start, which is kind of stupid, but they do it before every single one. Uh, it goes along the lines of you are now in, within the requirements for the exam. Uh, you must follow all instructions provided by the invigilator, the person watching you. Uh, you are allowed to have a 50 milliliters bottle of clear water. Yeah, we are 50 allowed to have from yogurt or whatever, and that's not very much. You're right. Uh, we presumed it's a misprint, and they actually mean 500. Uh, clear plastic yeah. bottle with all labels removed. Um, yeah, that's the thing with us too. We're supposed to remove all labels from everything. Uh, you. Ooh. You are also allowed, you must have a clear plastic pencil case with these items in it, nothing else. Uh, if your plastic pencil case is not clear, you take whatever you need out of it, and then you throw it away. You put it under your desk, where you can't reach it, and you forget it. Uh, you search your pockets before the end, you're not allowed to wear a jacket or scarf or anything. Uh, you empty your pockets, you take off your watch. Off your watch. Yes. Uh, yeah, you take off your watch. Uh, um, in my case, because I'm in special needs, they let me take in a um, they let me take in a few things. Uh, they let me take a, in a fidget spinner, which I immediately gave to the invigilator because they became bored after the first twenty minutes. <laughs> uh, they let me bring in food. On the last two days, they let me bring in a small stuffed penguin because I bought it with me and it was like so cute. Okay, we'll let, we'll let you take it in because it's cute. I'm like. What? Yeah. Like, okay, if it means I get to bring in a small stuffed penguin to come yeah. during the exam, I'm fine with this. Yeah, we have all sorts of, like, they check our calculators. Oh, no, you're expected to do that and yourself. You have to take off the cover of the calculator, you have to clear all functions on it, and uh, then, but that, you, they don't check that you've done it, they just expect you to. And we also had to give up in our formula books so that they can check that there's nothing there and then they give them back for the test. Uh, they don't give us formula books. On some of them you're allowed to have material with you. Uh, you must check beforehand well, to make sure there are no notes in the material they give you. Give them either you have to buy them yourself, but everybody has a formula book because... On some of the tests they use... give you an attached formula sheet, but not always. 
Because, I mean, obviously, because the, those are essential. You can... Unless you really think that you can remember every single, like, uh, potential and energy for all chemical formulas and every single... You are required to memorize the majority of them. Yeah, no, not here, because there's no... nobody does that. Uh, you don't have to memorize all of them, but since it's not certain which ones you will have to memorize, they will just instinctively drill all of them into you. Oh, that's so dumb. Like, like they, they, they are literally even moving away from certain kinds of calculation exercises because they don't serve a point. Because not, uh, normally when you do math, you do these with a calculator or you do them... Uh, I, I, I have heard a quote in a novel. For English, there will always be a dictionary. For math, there will always be a calculator. But for Egyptology, there really is no substitute. Mm -hmm. This is true. Uh, I, I admit, I did not take history or anything like that. I, I took uh, advanced Swedish, Spanish. I took Finnish as a native tongue. I had physics, advanced math, and chemistry. And I think that's it. That's, uh, I think you got a better deal than I got. Oh, 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 also, obviously, advanced English. Uh, I was required to take RE, but they dropped that requirement for me. No. For some weird reason. You're required to take uh, four subjects, and two of them have to be advanced level subjects. For most people, English is one of those, because English is only taught as an advanced subject, unless you have some sort of a weird special school that has decided to do, uh, I don't know, da Danish or uh, not Dutch, German <laughs> as an elective. Deutsche Sprechen Deutsch in Deutschland. stuff like this. I mean, it's technically possible to have some other language as an advanced subject, but that's not really done. And Swedish as an advanced su subject is not taken by most. Uh, you, you, you no longer have to write Swedish. Uh, write is the term we use for taking the test. Uh, you don't have to take the Swedish that you used to have to take Swedish because uh, Swedish is is the, other, is the other official language in the country, but we decided that that was no, no longer so important, which it really isn't. Sw S Swedish... That our national actually... pride, that's all. We can forego that. No, 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 no. Swedish... Swedish is um, a mandatory su subject because of the whole Swe Swedish rights thing. But otherwise, Swedish is very controversial because nobody likes it, nobody cares about it, nobody learns to speak it, nobody speaks it or uses it. It's thought as very, very uh, bad, and people don't like that it's being taught. And it's always uh, an issue that people like to ramble on about in circles. It's always there. Every year there's a debate about the necessity of Swedish in school, in state uh, circuits, everywhere. The 5% of fi Finnish residents are uh, native Swedish speakers, but can most of all mostly speak Finnish. So even that's kind of uh, questionable. And then the re then almost 60% of Finns never even get into the same room with a spe Swedish speaker because they just don't exist there and then the last 30% maybe meet, meet five of them and never ha have to speak with them so it's kind of bad Hello? <coughs> ah, you're eating Partially Partially I'm paying attention to what the guy is saying uh, he fell on a pit, but he didn't die. The computer thought he was dead. 
Look at me, dead man walking. Ha ha ha. Look, I can get this door open for you. Come on. Yeah, the problem is I'm You go first. Easy. You go first. Oh, he has a, a very <laughs> interesting uniform. Wait a minute. Who just locked this door? Did you do it? No? Okay. Money corrupts people. <laughs> just remember that. Suitcase with one million dollars? So scared right now, man. Go on. I don't need to play Crosby. <laughs> oh wow, he's slow. What do you mean you're still alive? Just assume it's still perfectly fine. What I just told you about the name of the pesto is a little lie. Grenades okay. help you destroy what you couldn't destroy any other way. Oh crap! That was a waste of grenade. But my point being here, it's on a clock. If you just shoot that, you die. And while I can do this next test without thinking about it, it's late. And eat my dinner. So we're going to call it quits here. I won't come back tomorrow. I won't buy a lousy copy of the home game. But uh, I will be back on Monday where I shall finish. Haha. -ha. Uh, I shall play through Riot Act and then I'll come back and finish this and then we can move on to the next game and play it with the crappy Yay! English subtitles. That'll be fun. Yeah. So, uh, it, um, we're going to do a two Vonnies kind of response here. Uh, the response is, and it's good night from him. It's good night from me. And it's good night from me. Damn it! <laughs> him? I don't know. Uh, the, the whole stick is they have the two Vonnies up on stage and they go, it's good night from me, and it's good night from him. Sorry. Uh, I, I, to be honest, it's my fault. I tried to set it up. It was too obvious. <laughs> this is funnier. Thank you and good night. Not you, dear listeners. Uh, no, no. Here's where I tell you what I'm actually going to name the stream later. Half Life 2 Aftermath, The Trap, with Ranty Anti. You can laugh now.